So with our character from chat avatar, which is a tool where we can generate heads using text input. So that's pretty cool. We're going to use it as our base model. So I'm just going to get rid of the H. We can see that the character's already rigged up, which is absolutely awesome. But we're going to focus on creating the hair. We can have a look at the hair tool and the hair tool's already got a library of hairstyles that we can attach. So for instance, we come in, mm, regular queef hair. Let's go to queef hair, append. <laughs> Selecting our bounding box and then we can kind of line it up just so it sits around his ear. Let's maybe scale it on Z. Rotate it around. Scaling it on the Y and just trying to get that to line up with the head as much as possible. Let's come to front view. Oh, that's actually not too bad. And there we go. We've given him queef hair very quickly. However, what if we wanted to create a custom hair? This is a little bit trickier, but still a lot easier than it can uh, than normal ways of talking. Marco, good job. So what we need to do first is we need to grab this dude's skull all his hairline and such. So already we're lucky that we've kind of got a bit of a path here. So into edit mode, I'm going to go, I'm going to go into wireframe mode and we're going to grab kind of like all this. And so this is what his hairline is going to be. There we go. This is his hair. So let's now do a shift D to duplicate P separate by selection. And now this becomes his hair. I'm going to break down the subsurf. We don't need it so strong. Like, let's just get rid of it. So from here, control shift and H hair with track mesh. And because our character scale is a little bit big, I'm actually going to press five to make it a little bit bigger. Mm, we can go another five. Mm, let's just go 10. Maybe there we go. Cause I want him to have a little bit longer hair. And so this mesh here, is what is making the hair kind of like the direction that it's pointing to. Now, Bartos, he has a more in-depth tutorial about this. I'm just kind of showing you the cliff notes, but he does go into in-depth of all this jazz and explains in detail how it works. Jumping over into material mode, if we go into density and we make it like 10, that's a lot. <laughs> let's go into poison disc. Uh, let's go back to 0.5 just so we can kind of have a little bit less material to work with. And you can kind of see how the hair is sticking out. Now, if we want to make, if we want to muck around with this hair system now, what we can do is select all that. And then we can start kind of like exporting it around. Just get rid of that deformation. And the reason why when I go into tab into edit mode is because if we go into the shape keys, yeah, you idiot. I've just been animating the brow down left. <sighs> Undo. Undo, undo, undo. There was a shape key in there called deformer. There we go. Had to change the um, shape key called deformer. Oh, silly Marco. Come on, dude. And now from here, we can start, um, yeah, manipulating the hair around. Come on, Marco. You know how to select a vertice, you clown. Um, and then if we kind of want to make a kind of like an edge cut or kind of like a split his hair, we can do V to rip connected only. Awesome. Let's go G and then this edge here, G. And you can kind of see how we've split his hair. Probably here it shouldn't be split. I'm going to press F. And then we'll join all them back up and we might join some of these back up as well. Back into his hair. We can always add in more. So let's go 10. That is stupid thick, but it is okay. Density factor. We can adjust it like so. Um, I want a bit of noise in the hair. So let's go noise deform. Nothing happens, but if we move it below, we can now see how the hair is being shifted. Just going to click on the bind track track mesh. There we go. Now we're starting to get a little bit better. The noise deform. Let's make it kind of a little bit more hagglier all over the shop. Kind of curls. Oh, 
Oh, yes. And then we can just, we're going through and just making it all haggly. This is actually pretty much perfect, exactly what I wanted. A few random hair strands. Um, the skull cap underneath is what we'd have to probably add in a material. So if we went down here, let's go. And then I'm gonna go into a new material and then we're just gonna make it like a bit of a dark brown just to kind of hide it. And then from here, let's kind of bring, oh gosh butchered it a little bit but that's okay we can always go with this bottom mesh here come over into the modifiers and modify generate let's do a shrink wrap and onto the body project nearest surface let's go to the top and then we kind of have that i know that it was all a little bit of a mess um, this is definitely something I am going to be practicing with quite a bit in the upcoming future. Definitely want to be creating some hairstyles for the animated web series that's coming up. So like and subscribe. Make sure you go check out Bartos' channel and also Chat Avatar where this lovely head came from.